Good morning, Canada. It is Tuesday, July 28th. Yes. That looks so fun. Yes. It's, 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 it's an exercise ball inside a basket with sticks. Good morning, everybody. How can you go wrong? How can you go Good wrong? Good morning. You missed a great workout yesterday. Talk to me. What and was see it? see these days off. There's burpees and things. This I, was, I missed burpees to do the again. Yes. And the, oh. yes. It was yeah. called sweat yes. and tonic. Yes. Okay. So that should tell you enough right there. Today we're drumming up good times. It's going right to be fun. It's going to be a lot of fun. <laughs> we're going to uh, drum up a bright spot. Go for it, get team. into this bright spot. And this is coming to us from Ecuador. And we know that safety comes first during these times. Yes. And we're getting a prime example from one young boy and his trusty dog in Ecuador. This is Anthony Hernandez fitting his pet with a face mask before putting his on. Look how cute. And here they go, riding away, dog balancing on his crossbar. This is so sweet. And this has gone viral in Latin America and is starting to make its way this, uh, this way into North America. Social media users commending the boy and his dog for setting a great example during the pandemic. What an angel. So cute. I am Look. surprised this little dog has actually sat still for that. Well, you know why? You, you can tell th this is how these two roll. It's his best friend. This is what it's they do. Little... This is how they get through the neighborhood for sure. Right? Yeah. Ah, yeah, que chévere. So sweet. <laughs> and there they go. OK, this is adorable. There is something is adorable. about the, the little kids. There's the, the young, young, young kids really are understanding about the mask wearing. Mm -hmm. I found that they're really taking to it yeah. and they are and they're setting examples for others. I've seen my son say, where's your mask? Where's yeah. your mask? And, I'm, you know, and, and, you know, you're yeah. a little bit hesitant as adults to call out people and they have no issue because they just see that as the norm yeah. now. They right? adapt. They my do. eight year old nephew's the same. He's so good with the masks. And it's interesting with kids, too, because, you know, as, as little ones, maybe you had a little toy or a doll or something yeah. that you played with and you you want to act like your mommy or your dad and model that behavior and then mm. you see the care that's the nurturing that's happening there i saw another viral video did mm. you see the little boy feeding the baby birds their mother something happened to the mom oh, no. and he was feeding the baby birds with yeah, chopsticks and it breaks so your heart like there's just that nurturing instinct even when they're little ones themselves to take know, care though. of yeah you're right you know i have my friends uh steph and uh, steve their daughter adrian i hadn't seen her in forever and i stopped by the house in the backyard and she's just like uncle nemo's here and she's three she's screaming oh, and she wants to hug me, but she knows that she can't. Yeah. And so she was sitting there and she's like. So much excitement. And just like <laughs> she didn't know what to do. It. She was like, her whole body was shaking <laughs> and she was so happy. And I was like, oh my gosh, she's so sweet. But she knew. Yeah. Like she was already like, I can't, I can't go and give you a big hug, but I'm so happy. That's adorable. Yeah. How's your nice son with your that. dog? Because your dog's bigger than your son. Yeah, we were talking about this yesterday. Brian and Josh, who are like best friends and they yeah. actually play together now. Josh yeah. always gives them a hug. He hasn't put a mask on him like that little boy, but mm -hmm. he always is just always looking for him. They're always together. So it's sweet. <laughs> that relationship, I just love it. Kids and animals yeah. together, so sweet. So sweet, unconditional love. And I saw my sister-in-law's dog this weekend, yeah. and I'm telling you, Rusty is a poodle. And I'm like, is he going to forget about me? Because it's been a few months. Mm -hmm. I got a bath. He was <laughs> looking at the toes, the feet, the calves. It was so cute. It's unconditional love. It is, it it is. is so sweet. No. I'm surprised that the dog didn't try and shake off the mask either, though. Yeah. The dog was it cool with it. There. Yeah, the dog's like, OK, I guess we got to mask up. You're right. Right? You're Let's right. go hit the road. Let's do it. Let's go. It's adorable. It. <laughs> it makes me want a dog. But Alex is not keen on it. Yeah. Tash, have you ever had a pet dog? No, I have not, but I'm impressed that that dog kept it on because it's hot in Ecuador. Yeah. Like, there's no air conditioning in my elevator. I put the mask on because it's mandatory in our condos now, and I'm literally like, <sighs> okay, let's go, let's go, let's go. It's hot, right? So the fact that the dog and the child kept it on, the, the children have learned. They've adapted quite easily, I might say. You know, they're like little sponges, and, so and they. I don't even have to tell my, my kids anymore to put their mask on. They just do it. They're amazing. They just know now. Kids are so yeah. resilient, like we said, and adaptable, and they do lead the way. And this is the yeah. sweetest video we've seen in ages.